everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at you <laughs> in a sing song manner. Anyway, so um, just get started, right? Yeah, just let's start just right get with started. The... <laughs> so, um, yeah, so well, first of all, we just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who has uh, yeah. given support to us recently. Oh, just man. such a blessing from the Lord. <laughs> it, it has come. Like right when we needed it, and so it's like just every been time. so every time. amazing to just continue to see the provision of the Lord. It is the Lord, and um, so we just really want to say a great, huge thank you. Um, and, and also, I, um, when I email you guys, I'm using the email that's attached to the PayPal account. So I hope you guys are checking your email. I hope you're not like you're giving to us and be like, man, they never say thank you personally or anything. I do. We get on the email. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I, I know that sometimes people who give, they give through they give through a certain account that's attached to an, an email address that they actually don't check. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if whatever email is attached to that thing, that's what we uh, respond we send, to. Yeah. Send so, a thank you, too. Unless you give us a different one, because some people have given us a different one. But we just want to know that we, we do email every single person. Yeah, that you we know, can. Wanna, <laughs> even if it's a little blurb like, you're amazing, this was awesome, thank you so much, send. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, so um, again, just huge, huge thank you. Such yeah. a blessing from the yeah. Lord. And, um, and if you would like to support us, we do have the PayPal link below, and you can just click that. The paper link. So we wanted to share today just more. I really feel like it's just adding to what God has been sharing with us recently. We yeah. talked about just, you know, the worship. It's almost going to be like a part two of our last video, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like he's just building layers, you know? Yeah. And and so we we talked about, you know, worship and, and just that key that God gave us there. Um, and then Which the last was video huge. was all about just how I really felt like God just like as we worship more keys are going to be falling from heaven and um, and in that we had you had that vision of just the heart of God really just coming down and and really just it's like he wants to place his heart upon us mm -hmm. and so today's video really is kind of about that so this morning um, we were talking and we were just kind of talking about we've we've been seeing the number of uh, four 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 a lot, and for us that number has um, always been um, associated with victory, but also exposing. A lot right. of times the Lord it's a twofold meaning. Yeah, exposes mm -hmm. things so you can have victory over right. them. Right. Right. And so we were talking about that this morning, and I. I was just like, whoa, I, wait, okay, this is awesome, because as God is bringing down his heart, and, you know, when you think of a heart, you think of love, it it really is casting out the fear. Um, What's and, that, First uh, John 4, 18? Right? Yeah, yeah, and where it says, you know, perfect love casts out all fear. Yeah. And, and so we had been talking about just experiencing a lot of just different levels of anxiety in different not just like financial anxiety but just different areas personally of our hearts and it just seems like man why all of a sudden it feels like this stuff is just kind of coming out where is this coming from it as far as just like the level and just right. the consistency yes, of it the consistency and it's like what it's in like, the world what is going on <laughs> and then this morning i just had it was like God just was like, hey, think about this. Perfect love casts out all fear. So it's like as God is bringing down his heart, it's going to cast out, take, just remove the things that are not love. So whether it's anxiety, you know, fear, pretty much the same thing. Anything in our hearts that... Like, it's going to remove the foxes. Yes. Song of Solomon 2.15. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, removing the foxes from the vineyard because God's like, I don't want anything to spoil the love that I have, the this this tenderness that we're going to have, this experience mm, of relationship that we're going to have Hallelujah. with one another. Yes. And so I am, it's driving it out. It really, like, 
God's like, as I come down, things are going to be driven out. So mm-hmm. there's going to be exposing. Yeah. There's going to be, you might feel like, well, oh, where did this come from? I don't remember this, but it's because it's being pushed out. You know, it's very much like if you had, you know, I, I just think of like if you were in a room and maybe somebody starts, you know, gets a huge balloon and starts blowing the balloon up and and so it just keeps moving towards you. Well, eventually you're going to get pushed out the door because there's no space left in the room for you. Yeah. And, and it's kind of that same idea where God's like, I'm coming in. So the things that don't need to be there have to leave. There's, there's no place for them to stay or remain. And, and he's like, I'm casting those out. And what's going to happen is then you can experience and have just the love of God that that is perfected within you. Right. And, and so, and like, I knew, like, basically when we were talking this morning, I was like, this is not the enemy. I just knew right away. I was like, "This is not the enemy," but man, it, it almost feels like it, but it's not. Well, and what and what is it? Well, because it is an enemy, but mm-hmm. it's not the devil or demonic oppression or a fight or a battle in that way. But it was just like because it's like as God's heart's coming down, while God is light, mm-hmm. and in Him there is no darkness. So when He comes down and he shines the light. Well, it's going to expose some dark areas. Yeah. And then those dark areas are, he's going to be like, let's, let's get that out. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now let's get it out. Yeah. I do that with our kids all the time. It's like, I need you to see it. Then we can deal with it because yeah. you, <laughs> yeah. you can't change what you don't acknowledge anyway. <laughs> and so, and so that's, what's been going on. And I was talking with Michelle this morning. I was like, I was actually opening it up to the whole family. Cause I wanted to see like, is anyone else feeling like just an amped up, kind of like <laughs> intensified anxiety lately because yeah. ever since we got that word about I'm giving you the direction of worship it was like a week ago like a week and maybe a little longer like eight, nine days ago it's been like that ever since it's like I wake up I wake up with like a sword in my hand and I'm looking around and ready to fight something you know <laughs> and that feeling has been like really intense it's been mm-hmm. really intense. It's almost like that's what I'm used to doing. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm used to living with it and it not being in my face. Yeah. Like I said in the previous video, you know, I'm used to just living with it. You just you just get used to living with an issue, an affliction, or a situation. And But then it's like God has a way of just putting it in your face and making it conscious instead of it being the subconscious thing that you don't think about. He's make, It's like it's in your face now and it's dealing with you. And you realize it's like, I wake up and I'm just like, well, I, I'm supposed to be concerned about our, our finances. I'm supposed to be concerned about how we're living. I'm supposed to be concerned about our future. I'm supposed to be concerned about my relationship with God. And is God speaking to me? And am I doing enough in my relationship with God? Am I reading the Bible enough? Am I worshiping enough? Am I treating my wife well? Am I treating my kids well? Am I? Those are the things that I just, I got I to gotta make sure I'm managing all of those departments well. I got to make sure. And then God's like, see that? And it's like it, all of those departments are doing just fine. Mm-hmm. But yet you're anxious about it. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like I woke up this morning and it was just like I saw it. And I was just like, I was like, wow, this is amazing. It's amazing how much a feeling can become like your reality. And it's not real. Yeah. And I just had to just like, I just got up in this state. It's like my heart was just going. I just woke up in that state. I'm like, what is going on? And so I just let it subside, and I'm just going, God, I'm not going to acknowledge any of this, or or I'm not going to give in to any of it. I'm just going to let it go. I don't know what's going on, and then this this all of this came out. Mm-hmm. It was like, this is what God's doing. God is pushing this stuff out, and we're yeah. feeling the push. Mm-hmm. We're feeling the release. We're feeling the get this out of here. You know, you you don't you don't yeah. need to be in here. Mm-hmm. You know, you were a bad fox. Bad fox, get out. Bad fox. Yeah. You know, yeah. get out of here. Be gone. You know, yeah. you don't belong in here. Exactly. And um, and so, and so um that's kind of like been our morning and that's, it's like been a morning of revelation, understanding of like what's been going on, you know? Um, because we can, that's what I wanted to say. I was trying to think, what am I asked that I wanted to say? But, uh, you know, it's not because in our my previous video, it seemed like the my focus of anxiety was on our financial situation, but that's not really what I was talking about. The whole thing that that's part of it, but it's like, 
most of it was really about the, the anxiety in, our, in my relationship with God mm-hmm. and the am I doing enough, am I hearing enough and, it, and it's like and, and so and the, the Lord asked me yes, was it yesterday morning in our God time? God asked me this question, he said can you change anything by being anxious and worrying about it mm-hmm. and, and then it took me to this scripture which I shall now read in your hearing <laughs> <laughs> It's from Matthew six twenty seven. It says, And who of you, by worrying and being anxious, can add one unit of measure to his stature or to the span of his life? Mm-hmm. And the Lord's like, Can you, by worrying, increase your intimacy with God? Can you, by worrying, you know, get yourself to the presence of God quicker? <laughs> it's like... The worry and the anxiety is literally benefiting you zero. Yeah. It's doing nothing. And it's like, I know you're used to it. I know it's the thing that you're just used to being there and it's you're used to dealing with it. But it's like, it just doesn't belong. And there is an anxiety that enters into the heart when you think about what's it like to live without that thing that I just have become used to. Even yeah. though it's a malady. Even though it's 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 a wrong thing, even though it's something God's like, let's get rid of it. You're almost like, well, I don't even know what life's going to be like without it. Yeah, I don't. Who am I without that thing? I, I'm anxious about getting rid of my anxiety. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, yeah, and it's like, wow, how how treacherous yeah. is sin? How treacherous mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. not that I'm in a sinful place willingly, but it's like yeah. it's the effects and consequences yes. of it. You know, it's like how horrible and disgustingly bad is just sin. It's just like, and I don't it's care. the flesh of yeah. the soul that takes you to those places. Yeah. You know, where you're just like, there is that worry and that angst. and I'm and, worried about my worry. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, what, it's, what, uh, is, what is wrong it's, with it's you? That, it's like, like, what is that, that catch 22? Yeah, yeah. It's like you're worried about not... I think I'm I'm worried about worrying too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that's kind of like been where where we've been and it's like this morning was such a great like I don't know, was, I felt like I don't know, it was like a breakthrough yeah. kind of morning where we realized like wow, God himself, we don't even need to be in the loop. Do you need do you let me encourage someone you don't even need to yeah. be in the loop. You don't even need to be in the know. You just need to, because we always want to know, God, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What if you don't know what God's doing? Does God know what he's doing? Yeah. Are you with God? Well, there you go. Because that's been like our past like eight days. Yeah. It's like God's been doing this the whole time. Mm-hmm. We just, we're just now getting clued into it. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, that's what he's been doing this whole time. Yeah. Oh my goodness. See, he was doing it. Mm-hmm. We don't have to be. We don't have to know the itinerary. Yeah. We don't have to see oh God schedule events of in our character in our heart. We don't. Yeah. We just need to know Him. Yeah. And walk with Him. Yeah, and that, it, even last night God was really kind of touching on this. We um, read uh, Romans eight thirty two. Yeah. And um, we pull that, that up. Yeah, right. and it was basically you <laughs> I know, knew that it was, was coming along the same lines <laughs> of you know. Don't be anxious, you know. Don't worry. Yeah. And and last night I was really just kind of hit with just the idea that um, we were listening to a worship song. Um, I forget the name of it. It's. But um, go ahead and say what it is. I'll tell you. But now. it's the one where it's like <laughs> Jesus, like God decided. You know, He looks oh, upon man. No one like you. Yeah. Like vertical worship. Yeah, and he's like basically the idea was like. God looked at us before time began and said, hey, you're worth it. He counted the cost. He counted the cost. That's what it was. And Before he began. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> That's perfect. Did, did I overdo actual, it there? The actual lyrics. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, that was a genuine thank you. Oh, okay, cool. That wasn't a bless your heart thank no, you? No, Okay, cool. Good. Yeah, those but, were always preferred. <laughs> <laughs> but um but basically it just really hit me that um you know before time began God he counted the cost and and he's like okay this is worth it my having relationship with my creation is worth me sending my son to die yeah and and 
And so it was just like, wow, that's just amazing. And so then I was reminded of Romans 8.32. You want to go ahead and Okay, that? you want me to? Yeah, yeah. It says, he who did not withhold or spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, will he not also with him freely and graciously give us all other things? Now, can I say something real mm-hmm. quick about this? Because there have been a lot of times in the last couple of weeks where I've seen 832, like on the clock, and it will jump out at me. And of course, I love weird numbers that jump out at me because they always mean something very specific. And I'm just like, I have no idea. But I wasn't really, a lot of times when you when you get a highlight from the Lord about something, he's not always wanting you to jump on it and research it. And, you know what I'm saying? He's not always wanting it. Sometimes he just wants to, I just want to put that in your pocket. Yeah. I want to put that in your pocket and just let you know. Mm-hmm. You know, because at some point he knows that that's going to blossom into something. And when we read this last night, I about fell out. I was like, yeah. oh, my gosh. <laughs> I And I realized in that moment just how much I'd been seeing 832 and how much it would be highlighted to me in the morning, in the evening. Praise the Lord for 832 in the morning. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> that's a whole nother video. But uh, <laughs> but um, but anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to say about that. Yeah. It was just like God's like, hey. And it answered, it was actually yes. answering an anxiety mm-hmm. of it like, was. of like, God, I don't think you want to do X, Y, and Z because I really think that's just way too much. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm just kidding myself. I'm really, I mean, I have to do, I think I'm fooling myself. That's what, and it answered that. Yeah. It was like, uh, the blood of Jesus was given. Yeah. You think you're asking for more than that? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, and it really just hit that point again. Because it was like it was like it was a time release capsule, a time mm-hmm. release revelation, where it's just like it's gonna it's gonna blossom at the right moment, yes. and it's gonna mean so much more to you. That's why I haven't been let. I would see the eight thirty two, but it was just like with highlight. It was just like eight thirty two. Yeah, it was like, but don't chase me. Just like, yeah. I just want you to see it. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> yeah, and so it it really was like you said. It it was just this kind of hey, you don't need to be anxious because. Mm-hmm. Here I counted the costs and and I gave my very son and I'm gonna just freely and graciously give us give you all other things. Like you don't mm-hmm. have to worry about it. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be focused on those things because I actually I just want to give them. That's who I am. I am yeah. a giver. I'm a gracious and lavish and you yeah. know, that's that is my character of who I am. Yeah. And and it really just even for me, like I was thinking about personally, I was like, you know, God has counted the cost of the of every single person's life journey that he has you going on. He's like, I've counted the cost. I know the pain. I know the sorrow you go through. I know, I know the f- actual literal financial needs that you're going to have. I have counted all of it. This is, nothing is a surprise to me. And I have said, yes to what I'm going to do in your life and I have said yes to okay I know that there's going to be hard times I just I just look at what God has done in me personally in the last couple years and just like God's like okay I know how devastated you're going to be when you first move to Nashville (laughs) I know it I've counted that tell you that right now uh... (laughs) and I've counted that cost because I know what it's going to that cost in your heart that it's going to take. But I also know... And how it's going to affect our relationship from time to time. Exactly. And he's like, but I also know what comes out of that. But I have prayed for you, Exactly. And when you return... (laughs) Yes. No, but really... Strengthen your family. It's like there there is going to be such a great reward that comes out of that that season that he took took us through. Ba-bam. Change up. (laughs) <laughs> the knees, the spirit's willing, but the knees are weak. Anyway, <laughs> that's a pretty cushiony area it there. Is. So you should be good down there, right? Yes. You should be, because it was hurting. But anyway, in light of what Michelle was saying on the uh, how God wants to just give, mm-hmm. I was reminded of Luke twelve thirty two. Since we just read, since we're on the 32s, anyway, yeah. <laughs> it, says, it says, this is Jesus. He's saying, do not be seized with alarm and struck with fear. Don't be anxious, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. 
So yeah. it's like it's God's desire. He wants to give it. So he's active over our life, performing his word in ways that we're like not even able to think about and even be anxious about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like he's doing what he's doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, that, I just wanted to add that in. Yeah, no, I love that because it really does go right into... Like our uh, pile of uh, unfolded laundry there. <laughs> laundry party later. Yep. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it just goes right into just how God, he really He really wants to give us keys to the kingdom. Mm-hmm. And and those keys are, are really there. Um, they're really keys to start experiencing... The, the freedom that God wants us to walk in yeah. and experiencing his heart. Yeah. And um, again... It's kind of like what it's been like for us this past week since, yeah. we did, since the worship thing. Mm-hmm. You know? And and so it's just like, I don't know, last night I was definitely just like, wow. Okay, like, you know, just thinking about the fact that God has already co- counted the cost of everything. Oh, yeah. he Because he knows the vision that he's put in our hearts. He knows all the dreams every person that he has invited to dream with him has dreamed. Because he's placed those things in our hearts. And so he they're knows. From him. They're from so he him. Knows. So he knows <laughs> yeah. how to accomplish those dreams mm-hmm. and how to have those things come out. And and it's just it's like we really have no need to worry. Yeah. You know, when we allow God to just do the things that he's going to do. Yeah. All right, we had to get the baby. Unexpected woke up. awakening. Yes. That's a prophetic word for somebody. There's about to be an unexpected awakening in your life. Hallelujah. I'm kidding. <laughs> but it could be for real. <laughs> so I'm just messing around. It's just you gotta have fun sometimes. Sometimes. Anyway. Although you just, you just don't do that to people. You can't be like yes. No. Yes. Oh man. I'm taking my offering back. No, I'm just kidding. Lord help Goodness. me. <laughs> All right. That's a bless your heart, isn't it? <laughs> so something else that I wanted to um, just getting, getting back to being serious. Just share <laughs> is um, you know this morning God was really kind of He put it on your heart, but then yeah. my heart as well as far as just like experiencing Him, mm-hmm. and and I just really feel like that's something that that is what God is doing. He's like, I'm mm-hmm. bringing down my heart because I want you to experience me. Yeah. To not just know things about, about me yeah. from from the Bible and, and from maybe even other people's testimonies. He's like, no, I want you yourself to experience who I am. And, and so we were reading Ephesians 3, um, verse 17 through 19 and it it basically just talks all about that Mm -hmm. um of just experiencing the lord and you want to go ahead and just read it yeah i can read it for the people sure it says may christ through your faith actually dwell settle down abide make his permanent home in your hearts exclamation point Mm -hmm. may you be rooted deep in love and founded securely on love that you may have the power and be strong to apprehend and grasp with all the saints the experience of that love, what is the breadth and length and height and depth of it, that you may really come to know practically through experience for yourselves, which reminds me of study to show yourself approved, you know? Mm-hmm. You would, through experience for yourselves, the love of Christ which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience. That's what it says right there. That you may be filled through all your being unto all the fullness of God, may have the richest measure of the divine presence, which is like the number one thing on my prayer list right now, and become a body wholly filled and flooded with God himself. I'll take it. Yes. I'll take it. (laughs) <laughs> yes. And so, um, and that was really what we talked about this morning for our God time is just how much God really wants us to experience. I feel like that really is just what he's, he's talking about, you know, for, for even this, this building up, um, 
of this year, he's talking about like, I want you to be built on a foundation of love. Yeah. But part of that love is the experience of it. And so it's like, God's like, I want you to experience myself so that you can really know, you know, there's yeah. just, there's a huge difference between hearing about something, having the knowledge of something and actually like you you have a testimony attached with that. You yeah. know, it's like, have you experienced, I, we were talking about this morning and it's like, we have actual experience of the provision of the Lord in our life. He has given that to us so much over this last year. And what does that experience do? Well, that experience, because we're, we actually have that and have interacted with that aspect of the Lord, it's like, it then it really actually starts to drive out the things that are not of the Lord. Yeah. When it comes to the anxiety or, you know, and it's the like... The evidence. Yeah. The truth, the demonstration. It's like... Wow. It's like when Jesus came, it was like, okay, you are not what I pictured, but how can I deny you being the Messiah? You have to be. Yeah. It's like I have to just struggle with it in my mind that this is, so it's kind of has that effect. Yeah. You know, and it's, you know, it, that's such a great example. It's like when Jesus came, people experienced the kingdom of heaven. Oh, oh, oh man. You know, it yeah. was not just these oh, yes, we've heard that God, you know, he loves his people. He's going to bless us. Or We got a prophetic you know, word we, about it hundreds of years ago. Yeah, you know, something about yeah. you know, the healing and, and all of that. But Jesus shows up and he is actually like, no, this is the kingdom of God. Come and interact with it. And it's like that is exactly what God wants to do in our own lives is to have, have us come into a place of interaction where yes. where we're experiencing the Lord because what does that do? It strengthens and deepens the relationship. Yeah. And and you know, and I we talked about just as like a, a kind of fun example with the for the kids is the fact that, you know, Devin, when we first met, we both talked about how like Devin was like, Oh, I love fishing. It's awesome. I love mm -hmm. fishing. And I was like, Oh yeah, I really enjoy going fishing too. Mm -hmm. But we've never personally, we've never gone together fishing and had that experience of what is it like for both of us when we go fishing? How, you know, what, what's the cool aspects of it? That would be so fun. And it would be so fun. Be so fun. And, and it's like, you know, we know each other as like, oh, you enjoy fishing, you enjoy fishing. Oh, that's awesome. But the day that we will both get to just be like, hey, let's go on a fishing trip, that will just be so <laughs> exciting. And it will bring something new and just refreshing to yeah. to our relationship. Yeah. Because it's not just a, something we've heard about each other. You know, we've individually had, you know, our experiences with fishing. But it's like to have that part of our relationship that will become a part of what we can share together. And that's yeah. really what God wants to do. He's yeah. like, I want yeah. to have a shared relationship with you shared individually. Experiences. Shared experiences yeah. where you can say, you know, somebody's like, have you ever, you know, no. I've, I've heard, yes, <laughs> you know, like I've heard <laughs> that God does miracles and you're just like, yes, here, I, I have actual experience with the Lord and the miracles that he's done. Mm -hmm. Not just, well, yeah, I heard, yeah, I've had, I think somebody once like 30, 40 years ago that I know of, yeah. that, you know, or something like that, or just examples in the Bible. And I'm not saying that those, I mean, it is so good for us to have examples and for us to be told the truth and the testimonies of what God has done. But it is, it strengthens the relationship between you and the Lord when you're like, God, you remember that time in my life when you did this? When we can really have coming out of us, just flowing out of us, the Psalms, you know, the songs of our heart, and it comes from actual experience. Yeah. Why are the Psalms so touching? Well, it's because David actually experienced those things with the Lord. And so it came and out of a like depth. that was like thousands of his, years ago. Yeah. And it and came we can out relate of to it, you know? <laughs> the depth of his heart. And, and it's like, we don't want to just live 
through somebody else's experience. We want to actually experience life well, with the Lord. Because the testimony, I mean, the Bible in and of itself is a collection of testimonies of people who had relationship with God mm -hmm. and what came out of that relationship, what came out of those experiences, the story about those experiences, et cetera, et cetera, and what it's like to go against God, but whatever. Yeah. But it's like those testimonies are there, like the scripture says, for our benefit. Yes. So that it, we can increase our faith. We're like, wow, we can experience him, that God, the fullness of him right now. Yeah. And that's literally, I mean, that's just what we've been experiencing in an increasing manner on this entire two-year journey. But e even in this past week or so, mm -hmm. where God's like, I want you to worship. The yeah. key, the first, the first key is worship. And then uh, from that worship key, I will give you other keys that will, yeah, that will unlock and, you know? Yes. So, it, it, because we we're experiencing it. Yes. You know? Yeah. And, um. And it's worth it. You know? It's it worth, like, so every, worth it. every second, every minute that we, that we go through this. Yes, there are times when we're like, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. But then we're like, you know, it, that's the experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything, no. you know? No. And it's like, that's just really where I just believe, like, God's like, I want, I want my people. Like, we prayed this morning. We really, I asked each of the kids individually, like, what's something that you've heard of the Lord about God, but you haven't personally experienced and and they said a few things and and but that's what we prayed for and it's just like that's what god's saying it's like hey come and you know jeremiah 33 3 is all about asking of the lord mm -hmm. and showing you the deep and hidden things well part of that asking can be like asking the lord to reveal himself to you that you would actually have experiences with him in areas that you've not had experiences with him before you know um and that it would be personal. And and so that's what we were praying this morning, all of us. We all had different different things that were like, you know, I would love to experience the Lord in this way. And so we were just presenting it to him, asking him for it, mm -hmm. because I believe that's what he's like saying. I want to do that. I want to give you guys tangible, actual experiences of my heart. And God's and, like, God's like, did you hear what they asked yeah. us? That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm so going to do that. Okay, let me get things ready. Yes. <laughs> and I actually, I'm going to go back to the Ephesians 3.17. Oh, I closed it down too soon, I, did I? Yeah. Well, I wanted to read it in the, in the uh, uh, Passion Translation. Passion Translation. Which is so good. Which I really you know? liked. So I'm going to read it out of the Passion Translation. Um, Sorry, in verse 17, it says, then by constantly using your faith. I just love that because it, it's it's like by constantly using our faith. And that's what is so great. Like you were saying about all the testimonies of what people have experienced because it actually stirs up your faith. So as you hear what God is doing in other people's lives, it's like, oh, that can stir up your faith so that you can use your faith. <laughs> and it's like by constantly using your faith, the life of Christ will be released deep inside you, and the resting place of His love will become the very source and root of your life. And I just loved all of that, how that was said. Mm -hmm. um, and then it says, and then you will be... There's so much there. Yes, yeah, there is. It's almost like... <laughs> I can't touch on that yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then you will be empowered to discover what every Holy One experiences. Mm -hmm. The great magnitude of the astonishing love of Christ in all its dimensions. How deeply intimate and far-reaching is His love. How enduring and inclusive it is. Whosoever believes. Yes. That's inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> endless love beyond measurement that transcend, transcends our understanding. This extravagant love pours into you until you are filled to overflowing with the fullness of God. Yeah. And um, that just goes on to 20. Yeah. Which is also an amazing verse. Yes. Um, and so I just <laughs> I just love how, how that just comes across. It's just like, yes, like, this is so awesome. Yeah. Of how you know, just 
as we continue in our faith, yeah. just Christ is going to be released in us. And when he is released, then it's just what's going to be produced out of that. What we're going to experience is just a greater depth and intimacy with God. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think that's all that we have to share. <laughs> that's all I have to say. We yeah. No, else. I thought that was good. That was really good. Um, kids going to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> but didn't you just go to the bathroom? Anyway. <laughs> But um, no, that's all I had. I thought it was just really cool. Just this, I just think it's cool. Yeah. You know, God gave us the worship word, and then we spent days worshiping. Of course, we're still doing that. We're still seeing, but we're seeing the fruit of it. We're seeing the manifestation mm-hmm. of it, and and we're seeing the 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 demonstration of God's heart to us. You know, in 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 tangible ways and through visions and revelations and how He normally does things. You know, because. It's not just about one particular way that God demonstrates. Yeah. It's through different ways. And just how he's just pushing out all the foxes and yeah. the anxiety mm-hmm. and just getting rid of all of that. And it's just it's just so amazing to experience God. What Jesus died so that we can experience mm-hmm. the Father and walk in that garden yeah. relationship with the Father. Not so that we can know more cool stuff written in a book about yeah. him. He didn't die, so the, you don't need to die for that. No, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. So I just uh, we just pray that you guys are blessed um, yes. and that you would just truly experience um, the fullness of who God is in your own life. And you learn to rest like this. Yes, just rest. Rest in the Lord. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> Anyway, continue. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so just be blessed. And until next time, we will see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye. See you later.